regarding digital cartography, uh, 3D modeling, ter uh, terrain modeling, uh, GIS, GPS, and so uh, historical cartography, and, uh, and so on. Uh, the site was launched in, two, in uh, 2007, and ever since then it has grown into a community. Because now we are talking about, um, about 47, 47 contributors, uh, people that actually write articles on the site regarding geo-knowledge, um, tutorials and reviews on books, maps, and so on. And we are talking of a mailing list of over 600 members, people that are interested in GIS, GPS, and so on, and open data. Uh, of course, we imitate and promote uh, the free access to geospatial information, and uh, we support the use of open source software. Uh, the second part, uh, I mentioned that we promote the open uh, the use of open source software. Um, I should mention that we are the local chapter of OSGEO, which is um, which could be considered a recognition uh, of our efforts in um, promoting FOS, uh, FOSFOG, and um, for those of you who don't know, uh, this OSGEO is an NGO with an international span. Uh, their main activity is to uh, support uh, collaborative development of open source software for geospatial and its widespread use. Um, below you can see a conceptual schema for our architecture. Uh, I'd like you to, to notice the fact that geospatial.org is uh, built on two main building blocks uh, talking about geo-knowledge and geo -data. What we do, this is, uh, this is the overview of our main activities. First of all, we support, I think we call it this, we like to think it is an elegant place uh, for, uh, for people to share geo knowledge and geo data. Uh, another main activity of geospatial.org is organization of conferences and workshops all over Romania. We usually do this in collaboration with universities. Um, Regarding, of course, uh, uh, geospatial information, uh, its manipulation, representation, and so on, but with, uh, with uh, open source software. Um, of course, participation is free. It is always going to be free, um, but we do demand um, some seriousness. Um, another, another thing that we do, uh, we initiate and we support projects, uh, collaborative projects, because these projects are made with the community for the help for the community, for themselves. And a uh, project that you have heard of today, um, our flagship project, EHARTA, uh, this won the Better Data Award at the biggest open data competition at European level. I'm going to tell you a little bit about this, um, uh, more about this data, because it's an important project, and it brought um, European recognition to, uh, to our efforts. Um, and of course, um, we spend quality time together. Uh, now I am getting to the core part of our presentation. I'm going to talk about open geo data. A few questions popped into my mind when I tried to model this presentation, and I thought, uh, what exactly uh, should I tell you and how? So first of all, I, I am going to tell you uh, why and why do we support and how how do we promote open geo data? Uh, then I'm going to tell you about when did we start and how. Um, and then of course, uh, what have we done by now and how are we planning to go on? Maybe not in this order, but you will find the answers to these questions. Um, as I mentioned before, when I showed you the, uh, that uh, schema of the uh, architecture of geospatial.org, one of the uh, main building blocks was geo data. But I want to make very clear that that geodata has always been free. Uh, this, uh, you have there uh, a fragment from the copyright notice on geospatial.org that was placed there at the moment that the site was online in 2007. So forever, we, since we started, um, we, we believed that geodata must be free and must be reusable and um, freely distributed. Um, Part, uh, the way uh, that we, the way that we support open geodata, the way that we promote it, exactly what do we do? Um, we 
development was done through uh, specially building, specially developing uh, in web interfaces uh, for them to be able to document all these map sheets because uh, uh, there, was, uh, there were a lot of them, thousands of these map sheets. And what we did was to invite the community to log in and to just start um, documenting the map, the name, uh, the color, the status, and so on. Uh, this was the first step in our uh, first campaign. Uh, the second one was for collecting ground control points for georeferencing the, these maps. The idea is that uh, we had these maps, we had them scanned, we could have offered them like that, but uh, their use would have been so minimal than to have them georeferenced and be able to easily combine them with other information. Um, it happened again in 2010 with the two steps that I, uh, I previously said. In 2011 was the year of the Open Data Challenge competition. A few things um, my colleagues told you at the beginning. This was a European competition. It was the biggest uh, at that time and at this time. Uh, it had uh, big supporters. The jury was an impressive one. Even uh, Sir T uh, Tim Berners-Lee was in it. Um, the idea was to, um, to raise awareness at international level and most importantly uh, between, uh, in, in communities of decision makers of the importance of open data. And the feedback that this, this uh, competition had was extreme because there were 430 entries. That means that a lot of people are interested and they're already working for it. Um, we were the, we were happy to we were honored to win the uh, Better Data Award. And um, okay, uh, what else do we do? Well, uh, we advocate to public uh, public bodies um, bodies about um, the benefit and the necessity of opening up their data. Of course, uh, this is not an easy process, and of course, nobody. Uh, freely come you know, and give, uh, give us the data. But we do have um, a happy, a happy, a successful so a story, so to say. Uh, we have published on our, um, on our platform, uh, through our service, the uh, geological map of Romania, the one to, uh, 2000, um, which we consider to be um, a success uh, for, uh, for all our efforts regarding promoting open data. What else do we do? When we talk about open data and we talk about open source, we must talk about hackathons as well. They go together perfectly. Uh, this year, in 2012, uh, Geospatial was uh, one of the organizers for the Open Media Challenge. This was a hackathon uh, organized by uh, Sponge, a media innovation lab for Eastern Europe. The idea of this hackathon was for it at, uh, at the end to actually deliver tools, open source tools, for um, solving media real problems when it comes to visualizing data uh, and aggregation of that data. Um, it was a, it, it, uh, this, uh, this hackathon had uh, an interesting organization because it, uh, it was um, mandatory for teams to work together, which means coders, uh, mappers, uh, journalists, um, activists for a certain idea, make them work together and uh, shape an idea to, to life. Uh, the Political Colors of Romania Interactively Map, a project that you heard, uh, was a project part of Open, uh, Open Media Challenge. Uh, colleagues from geospatial.org uh, worked for this, for this project the main idea was to uh, visualize the map of elections. Uh, uh, before, this, uh, before this application uh, was released and before uh, the data became open data, there was no visual um, information regarding uh, who is elected where and so on. Every, every single information was in very hard, readable uh, format like PDFs and so on. If you, as a journalist, wanted to do a story, wanted to, to uh, present a situation before election, it was practically impossible for you because you had to, to read through thousands of PDFs and it was very difficult and time consuming.
consuming. But this was the idea of, uh, of the project. It was uh, meant uh, to be a help for the journalistic community, uh, but of course for everybody interested in, uh, in uh, electoral geography. Um, okay, um, in Bucharest in 2012, we had a conference, one of our traditional conferences. <coughs> to raise awareness regarding the need and the necessity of open geodata. Another thing that we did, and we're proud, uh, we have organized um, and promoted together with other organizations that have similar interests in open data and so on, uh, the translation from English to Romanian of the Open Data Handbook. This is, uh, this is a very interesting document published by the Open Knowledge Foundation. This is a document that is uh, mainly for public bodies that want to open up data, but they don't know how to do it. So this this uh, this document is really like a guideline that addresses problems from legal points, technical points, dissemination, and so on. Um, we have organized a mapping party as well um, <coughs> for OpenStreetMap. This was organized in uh, in another town in. Uh, after uh, one of our seminars, one of our seminars there. Uh, this is not a complete list, of, a list of everything on, that we have on uh, on our site as uh, being downloadable. downloadable. Sorry. Um, we have, of course, uh, sets of data, vector, raster. We have code. We have thesis that regard our our interests. Or just fragments of it, documents, addresses, and so on. I invite you to enter and see. Um, now, for those of you who have a, a weak point for numbers and statistics, I have a few numbers for you. Uh, authors, mailing, okay, mailing list. Um, this is um, this is actually updated from last year. So, <laughs> okay, uh, written materials. Uh, we have eight thousand four hundred available uh, files for downloading, and uh, the total number of downloads a lot. Uh, maps in the gallery section one hundred and sixteen, and online transformation. Okay, future, future plans. This is a list. This is quite a, a short list. Um, of course, we we intend to continue everything we have started by now. Uh, we intend to publish more uh, more articles. We intend to publish more uh, geodata produced by our members or collected. Uh, we do intend to promote as much uh, as possible uh, the movement and the concept of open data within the public bodies and um, and so on. Uh, and of course, to continue our Eharta project because we have we still have a lot of documents to 